Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! This is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Hey, Johnny Gilbert. How is everyone today? Let's go to work in the Jeopardy round. The categories for the Jeopardy round are Recently discovered presidential ads. Name that planet. Ice cream. Music class. Word up. And the Summer Olympics. Player one, where do we start? Well, he said a nation half slave and half free can't exist. I say he's wrong. I'm Stephen Douglas, and I approve this message. Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the plus control. <laughs> Right. You get to pick again, player So one. what if he's the first West Point grad president? Some say he drinks. You decide. I'm Horace Greeley, and I approve this message. It's player one. Good for you. Player one, back to you. In 1814, this general had a pirate, Jean Lafitte, help him in New Orleans. What's next? I'm John Quincy Adams, and I approve this message. Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Correct. <laughs> Select again. You elect him, I say in seven months the economy will be in shambles. I'm Al Smith, and I approve this message. Okay, player one. Choose again, player one. Alex Hamilton wants him to be president. Them's fighting words. I'm Aaron Burr, and I approve this message. It's player one. Yes. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Christian Huygens wrote about this planet's rings back in 1659. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> hey, you're right. We return to you, player Instrument two. Instrument-laden rovers landed on this planet in 2004. Player one. Right you are. Player one, you p yeah! Answer, the Daily Double. You are in the lead right now. How much are you going to wager, player one? Answer, the great red spot on this planet is actually a giant storm. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Please pick again, player A one. A year on this planet is 88 days long. Yes, player two. <laughs> That's right, way to go. You again, player two. In the wake of a recent demotion, this is now the outermost planet. Okay, player one. Yes. You get to pick again, player one. Cohen and Greenfield are the last names of the co-founders of this company that created Cherry Garcia ice cream. It's player three. Right. 
We return to you, player three. Though it three. started with just 31 flavors, this chain now has more than 1,000, including SPF 31. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. Player one, back to you. This treat gets its name because a certain fruit is cut lengthwise and then topped with ice cream, nuts, and whipped cream. Player one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Player one, back to you. This three-flavored ice cream is named for an Italian city. Yes, player three. Oh. That is correct. <laughs> Choose again, player three. Many claim to have invented these. One man made them from waffles at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. Okay, player two. Yes. Select again. On sheet music, this sign identifies the second line of the staff as the G above middle C. Yes, player one. That is correct. Please pick again, player the one. The name of this section of an orchestra comes from the Latin for a beating. Okay, player two. That's correct. Ah, yeah. You again, player two. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. The guitarist here is playing one of these, defined as a combination of three or more notes. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> player two, pick again. You may have studied these Chopin pieces, whose name is French for studies. It's player one. <laughs> That's it. Player one. You p Rachmaninoff wrote one on a theme of Paganini. Gershwin wrote one in blue. Player three. Yeah, good. Choose again. Player three. Change your attitude, or rather one letter in attitude, to get this word meaning height. Yes, player two. You got it. We return to you, player two. It's what two. we call a word that has the same meaning as another word. Okay, player three. Good. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Select again. This word can mean a hole or any hollow place, especially in a tooth. Player three. Correct. <laughs> Player three, pick again. It's one of the bones of the forearm or a line from the center of a circle to the circumference. It's player two. Woo! You got it. <laughs> player two, you pick it. From the Latin for kidnapper, it means to take someone else's ideas or writings and pass them off as your own. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> player one. Back to you. Let's go over to Kelly. Japan scored one of the biggest upsets in Olympic history in 2008, beating the U.S. to win the gold medal in this sport. Okay, player two. That's ah. right, way to go. You get to pick again. A platypus was one of the mascots of the 2000 games held in this city. Yes, player three. Good. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. 
Please pick again. Player Different three. strokes. In 2008, Rebecca Sony won Olympic gold in 200-meter breaststroke. Natalie Coughlin in 100-meter this. Let's hear it, player three. You are correct. Player three, back. The 1972 games at this German city were the scene of terrorism and tragedy. Player two. Correct. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. Jin Young Lee and Jin Mun Park were members of this country's 2008 gold medal winning baseball team. It's player two. Good. The selection will be yours, player three, when we return from this break. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Fill in the book title. Statues. Pop Gals. Word Origins. 1907. And Insects. All right, player three. As promised, you pick first in Double Jeopardy. Seventeen hundred forty nine Tom Blank by Henry Fielding. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. You again, player one. Eighteen ninety five Blank the Obscure by Thomas Hardy. Okay, player one. Choose again, player one. 1925, An American Blank by Theodore Dreiser. It's player one. Yeah! Ah, good. Select again. 1922, The Beautiful and Blank by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yes, player one. Yes. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. 1860, The Mill on the Blank by George Eliot. Player two. Yes. Player two, back to you for our next selection. The sower atop Nebraska's state capital in this city is tossing seeds to the Great Plains 400 feet below. Let's hear it, player three. Yeah. That's correct. Hey, hey. <laughs> player three, back to you. Blue Earth, Minnesota has a definitely giant 55-foot statue of this pea pusher. Okay, player two. Right. Player two. You. Answer. One of the daily double. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. You need to select your wager. And the clue. Sam Houston stands 67 feet tall along Interstate 45 in this state. You've moved up to first place. We return to you, player and two. And I'll hand it off to Kelly. A statue of this discoverer of Florida stands near the street named for him in St. Augustine. Yes, player three. <laughs> right you are. Player three, pick a g In 2003, a statue of this man was pulled down just a year after it had gone up to mark his 65th birthday. 
Player one. Right. You again, player one. She was hot in 2008, taking hot and cold to number three on the Hot 100. It's player two. <laughs> hey, you're right. Please pick again, player two. This girl like me and Disturbia songstress was born in Barbados. Player one. That's it. Choose again, player one. It wasn't deja vu when this member of Destiny's Child sang with Jay-Z on the song Deja Vu. It's player one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> player one, back to you. Fans go ape over this gal born Stephanie Germanotta who hit number one with Bad Romance. Okay, player two. That's correct. You again, player two. In 2005, she topped the album charts with The Emancipation of Mimi. Let's hear it, player three. Correct. We return to you, player three. The Keebler elves could probably tell you that the name of this snack comes from a Dutch word for small cake. Yes, player one. Right. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Maple or otherwise, this thick sweet stuff is from the Arabic for to drink. Okay, player three. Good for you. Player three, pick again. First used in a novel about 90 years ago, it refers to a bright person, not someone who resembles Humpty Dumpty. Yes, player three. Good. <laughs> You get to pick again, player three. The name of this type of aircraft is from two Greek words meaning spiral wing. Let's hear it, player one. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> player one, you pick again. The term funny bone is actually a pun on the name of this upper arm bone. Player one. Good. Select again. Florence Ziegfeld produced his first of these extravaganzas in 1907 and would continue them for the next 24 years. It's player one. Yeah! That is correct. Player one, back to you. For works like Gunga Din, he became the first Brit awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> you again, player one. With this man as president, the government budget was $579 million, and unemployment stood at 2.8%. Yes, player one. Yeah! That's it. You get to pick again, player one. Charles Curtis, Republican, Kansas, became the first Native American to serve as one of these. Player one. That's correct. <laughs> Player one, back.
back to you. More than 40 nations attended the second international this conference in The Hague. It's player two. Hey, you're right. Select again. The finest singers among species of this insect are the tree type, not the house or field type. Let's hear it, player one. You got it. Choose again, player one. It reached Texas from Mexico around 1890 and spread into most cotton growing areas of the United States. Okay, player three. Yep. We return to you, player three. Yeah. Answer, the second daily double, player three. You're in last place, so let's see if you can close the gap. Give us a wager, player three. Answer this. Like 1990, 2007 was a year when these noisy insects famously swarmed the Midwest. Right. Please pick again, player three. Stoneflies belong to the order Plecoptera, which means pleated this. Yes, player one. You are correct. And the last clue for $2,000. Two common shorthorn species of this in North America are the lubber and eastern lubber. It's player one. Yeah, good. Looks like you'll all be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this break. Now, Final Jeopardy, coming right up right now with this category. Animals. What are you going to wait for? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Now it's time for the final Jeopardy clue, and here it is. The genus of this Asian animal is Aeloropoda, and its species name, appropriately, is Melanoluca. Did you come up with the correct response? And this ooh, correct ooh, response ooh, will ooh, add ooh, how ooh, much ooh. to your score? Let's see your response. And that Woo! correct response <laughs> will add... What did you say? With that correct <laughs> response, you will gain Congratulations, <laughs> Player One. You're the winner. So long, everybody.